Hi everybody, in the previous video I showed you how to get the hardware side set up on flashing the Wi-Fi Pineapple 4. Now we're going to do the software side. But first of all I'd like to give a shout out to the guys over at Hack5 for doing a great, great job over here with the documentation. Without them it wouldn't be possible. So you can check it out. Even Mr. Protocol did a great um, tutorial on how to flash the Wi-Fi Pineapple over serial. So anyways, what you first need to do is download some files. You're going to need the drivers for the serial adapter, TTLUR adapter. I'll provide all the links down in the show notes. If you have 64-bit windows, use 64 right here, and if you have 32, you use x86. Here are the factory files you have to download. Um, you can use 7-zip to unzip the files, and it'll have here the kernel and the root file system. I believe this is OpenWRT for the Wi-Fi Pineapple 4. Then you'll need PuTTY, WinSCP, TFTP, TFTP, and you'll need to download the upgrade.bin file. This is all the custom stuff on st installed on top of OpenWRT. So once you got the driver installed, plug in the adapter to your computer, and we need to go to Device Manager and find out what COM port it's on. So write that down. That's important. You'll need to know what COM port to connect to in, in PuTTY. But first we need to change some settings, port settings. Make sure bits per second is 11, um, 115,200, data bits is 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control is none. And click OK. Once you got that set up, you're going to connect via Ethernet, Ethernet cord from the Wi-Fi Pineapple on the PoE slash LAN port to a port, Ethernet port on your computer and we're going to have to set up a static IP address for it. So just go to Network and Sharing Center and go to your Ethernet port that you plugged in the pineapple to and properties and IPv4 and you're going to use an, this address 192.168.2.11 the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 click OK, close, you can close out. So next you want to turn off your firewall, whatever firewall you may have. I have the Windows built-in firewall, but if you're using a separate third-party antivirus or firewall, I recommend turning it off because we're going to be using the TFTP server and a lot of firewalls will block it so you won't be able to transfer the files to the pineapple. So temporarily you can shut it off, it'll be OK. And first we're going to open up PuTTY and we're going to go to Serial and we're going to use COM3. So let's go to here first. Let's go back to Sessions, COM3. And the speed is going to be 1 115, 200, COM3, whatever yours um, COM is on, mine is COM3. We go to Serial, COM3, make sure the speed is 115,200, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, parity none, and no flow control. So once you got that set up, we're going to click OK and it should open up a terminal. Now data will start flowing through, you'll see commands and stuff and feedback as soon as we power up the Wi-Fi pineapple. But first, what we need to do is, um, let me double check. Okay, so now we can power up the Wi-Fi pineapple. So it's going to come up pretty quick. As soon as we plug in the power to the pineapple, you're going to select uh, menu 1 as soon as you see it, 1 out of 3, and then hit enter after you select 1. So it's powering up, and right now, one, and there we go. Now we're into the console. So now the Wi-Fi Pineapple is powered up, and now we're going to run the TFTP server. And we're going to make sure the server interface is on 192.168.2.11, and we're going to browse for the current directory of the factory files. So that'll be the source where it'll download when I transfer the root file system and the kernel. So now that it's running, 
Let me double check. Everything's okay. Just checking my list over here. All right, now we can run the commands. I've made a how-to doc I copied from the Hack5 site. Um, mad props to those guys over there. They were pretty awesome. So anyways, we're going to copy the first thing. First line. Just set some flags or whatever. And enter. Then we're going to do save environment. Just follow along. Much easier than just uh, writing it down. I'm just copying and pasting it. So here's the important part. This should work right away. We're going to transfer over the kernel. So just right click on there after you copy and then hit enter. You can see it transferred it successfully. So now we're going to erase apparently some part of the flash. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing, but we're just going to follow along. This may take a bit. Okay, and we're going to copy over a sector, apparently not a sector, a certain part somewhere else, I'm not sure. Okay, that's done. And now we're going to copy over the root file system. And it's copying very fast. There we go. Copied over. And now we're going to erase a certain part of the flash, apparently. So this will take a while. I'll pause the video and uh, just wait for it to finish. Okay, that was pretty quick. It finished pretty fast. So now we're going to do the next one, copy over. Copying to flash. So now that's done. Do one of the very last commands. So we'll wait for this. Okay, uh, you can see right here, press enter to activate this console. So we'll get a terminal shell, whatever command line. So usually you want to wait a little bit. Um, it can get a bit messy with a lot of output here, like BR LAN or whatever. You can wait for a while, otherwise I can just click enter. Don't worry if there's stuff comes up. You can just enter the clear command to clear it out. So I just clicked enter now, and there we go, we got a shell right here, root at hornet. So we're going to reset, and we're going to do reboot. So it's going to reboot, you'll see all this stuff again. You don't have to select option one when it comes up, just let it go. You want it to um, fully boot, you don't want to go into command line interface right away. All right, now we can press enter to activate this console, but you want to wait for a while. You can see there's still stuff going on in the background. So to get in the command line interface, we click enter now. There we go, we're back into the terminal there. So we're going to do 
P-A-S-S-W-D. We're going to change the password on it. I'll just enter one, two, three. It doesn't matter. Something simple. Okay, I changed the password. Now we're going to start the SSH server. So etc init.d drop bear start. I believe that's the SSH server. And then we're going to now use WinSCP to transfer over the upgrade.bin file. So do SCP, we're going to do the IP address of the pineapple 192.168.2. I think it's 1 we can use. It might be 11. Root, and then the password you just created. SCP, and we're going to log in. Yes. Okay, now we're logged in. You can click the two little dots there to go one directory back. We're going to go to the temp directory and transfer over the upgrade bin file for the PyVal on top of the uh, OpenWT that's already installed on it. So that's the one you want. And drag it in there and copy. So there you go, we transferred that over pretty quick. And the last thing, we can go back into the terminal here and then all we have to do is run a sys upgrade. And we're gonna have to change the upgrade because the file is dash two dot um, seven dot zero. Come on you. Yeah, two dot seven dot zero dot bin. Click enter, and it is updating the Wi-Fi pineapple. So this can take a while. The pineapple will install the new firmware and it'll reboot. So I'll pause the uh, video and I'll be right back. Okay, it's rebooting now. So we'll let it fully boot up. So we don't have to click one. We don't need the command line interface. We're just going to let it go. And that's pretty much it. So we need to change the um, network interface again. Okay, we can click enter to get the console now. So now we got root at pineapple. You can see it's updated. So we're going to back to change adapter settings properties, the Ethernet, um, IPv4, and we're going to change this because now it's on a new IP address. 172.16.42.42 as you want for the new IP address. Close, out, close. And you can see it's a bit messy. It's still throwing up some uh, data there. Anyways, we can close out TFTP and uh, we can close out of that. So, we'll cancel the thing there. Anyways, we'll go make a new tab. HTTP colon four slash four slash. It's going to be on 172.16.42.1 colon 14.71. In the latest version of the firmware, uh, they changed it to a port instead of forward slash pineapple so make sure you take a note of that and there you go the Wi-Fi pineapple interface is up and running um, before I've already flashed this before so you would have got a um, uh, a pop-up here saying asking for the username and password and the username would be root and the password is pineapples are yummy so that's my tutorial on how to flash the Wi-Fi Pineapple over cereal. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please rate, subscribe, and have fun. Bye.